Yes, you can. You see, well, how many of you are here from Kaiser Bad? Just you? Mr. Foy George, to bring greetings on behalf of our proud sponsors, the National Gas Company of Trinidad and Tobago. Let's hear it for Mr. Foy George. To the Minister of Community Development, the Honorable Winston Gypsy Peters, the representative of the Mayor of San Fernando, Councillor Donovan, representative of the various ministries, the Sanfest management team, NGC staff and personnel present, teachers, well wishers, and of course, you, the students and performers. I wish you all a hearty good morning. Yesterday, I was here watching the primary school edition of this, and I was impressed by the quality of the of the performances. And bearing that in mind, I'm certain that if that's any indicator of the standard of standards, that we are about to witness some very, very excellent performances this morning. Also yesterday while I was here, Mr. Mohammed, I, I had the opportunity to hear Mr. Mohammed give his greeting. And while speaking to him just now, I inquired, Mr. Mohammed, I mean, you, you were able to give a greeting in so many languages in corporate patois and so on. Where did you learn that skill? And he had indicated to me that it's a skill he picked up while coming to shows like this, taking part in various activities and events. And that stuck in my mind. It stuck in my mind because at the core of what we're doing here is the principle that people learn in different ways. So some of us will learn in a classroom setting, but there's also lots to be learned while doing drama, dance, music. So people learn in different ways. And when we think about that, we recognize for really valuable something like Sanfest is. Because it provides a forum for people from Scarborough to Point Fortin, to Blanchichers, even to Cuba, to get that opportunity to learn in a different way. And I mean, when we consider the, the many challenges that our youth face today, these kind of forums are extremely important. Because while a person learns dance, drama, they also learn discipline. They learn teamwork. They learn cooperation. So many skills that go on to enhance that person and make that person into a productive member of our society. I mean, I really wish more people were involved in the act. I mean, Sean, I brought my son with me with me this morning, um, because I wanted him to get the experience and to see what the art is all about. So hopefully he would um, learn something here. And on the first thing next year, I might see him here on a Santa stage. Um, last night I was talking with my wife about the issue of values. And we were having a debate about how do you evaluate the value of any type of sponsorship? Because then you see it involved in various activities, cricket, um, Football to a limited extent, Sanfest, Bocas de Fest, and you see the world in various sponsorships. But for us, when we, are, when we are measuring value, we consider first and foremost, how does it create national value or benefit the national community? We also talk about well, branding and signage and so on, and PR that comes out of, of the event. But we also measure value in regards to um, opportunities for employees to become involved. And when we look at Sanfest, Sanfest tends to tick all the boxes for NGC in regards to sponsorship. I think the value of Sanfest to the nation is immense. Yesterday, Mr. Bravo described Sanfest as a, as a national, I'm trying to recall the word right now, it evades me, a national institution. And I'd like to, to endorse that this morning. Sanfest is very much a national institution. And that's why NGC is so proud. And this is so proud to partner with the San Fernando As Council, to partner with the various ministries and the other sponsors, to help find different ways to benefit our youth. Mr. Bramble mentioned the Marshalls and the Fayans and, sorry, not the Fayans, the Fayan Ali Locuses and all these people who came out of San Fernando. But for us, the value even extends beyond that. 
each and every person would take part in that, right? Or who take part in the art has a chance to learn and develop. And for us, that is so extremely important. And that's why NGC is so proud to endorse and to continue to, to, to support Santa. This is our first year of NGC Santa. So we're hoping for many more. And we're hoping to continue this journey with the San Fernando Arts Council, with you, the parents, and the teachers who make it all happen, with you, the participants, who devote your time and your efforts to continue, to continue to show, both on and off the stage, that arts and culture is truly essential to life. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Sad School Supervisor Juan Victoria, Mr. Ampersad. The Honorable Minister of Community Development, Mr. M. Winston Peters, Councillor Mr. Donovan, main sponsor NGC, specially invited guests, principals, parents, well wishers, and the students. Pleasant good morning. It is indeed an honor and privilege to bring greetings on behalf of the Ministry of Education at this NGC Sandfest 2013 Command Performance Secondary Schools. We at the Ministry of Education are well aware of what stakeholders such as the National Gas Company and the San Fernando Arts Council have accomplished over the years in spite of all the difficulties and challenges faced. I know that you have continued to rise to any occasion and maintain your high standards of contributing to excellence in all aspects of education. The Sanfest team this year, the art and culture, essential to life. This team fits nicely into the Ministry of Education vision for education in the arts, which features a sequential approach to learning from the visual arts, literary arts, and performing arts. Such approach, one, acknowledges the primary role of the arts in developing and sustaining culture and promotes knowledge and understanding of the historical and social context of the arts both within Trinidad and Tobago and within a more global context. Two, it develops the skills, sensitivities, and understanding involved in creating art and responding to it. Lastly, it recognizing that all the arts are connected in their focus on artistic expression and they're also connected with other fields of human endeavor. In conclusion, on behalf of the entire education community, I congratulate and thank the sponsor, National Gas Company, also the San Fernando Arts Council, principals, teachers, special trainers, in fact, all those who have worked together in the development and production of this magnificent festival in the interest of our, of our children. Indeed, the nation owes you a great debt of gratitude I urge you to continue to be a shining light in changing the lives of so many young people and launching the careers of distinguished artists and cultural ambassadors. We, the Ministry of Education, look forward in continued partnership with you as we move forward to develop intelligent, versatile, productive, and well-rounded children of Trinidad and Tobago. Thank you, and God bless you. Mr. Peters, to say a few words. Mr. Peters. As well as video My protege, I am extremely proud of you to say, Councillor Randall Dunn. Mr. Torrance Mohammed, Trinidad and Tobago cultural icon, chairman of the Sanfest Committee. Mr. Fui George, representative of the main sponsor of this program, the NGC. Other distinguished ladies and gentlemen, other representatives, other sponsors, and most of all, you the young people who have made all of this possible by your parents in Sanfest. I, for one, I'm extremely happy to be leading a ministry that is indeed interested in the life of the communities and by extension, the young people of our nation. 
because without the youth of our nation involvement, we would have indeed a bleak future. But as it stands, we are happy for your involvement and indeed we know that our future look bright. You have heard all about Sandfest, you know the historical antecedents of this whole program and I know of the essential role that it plays in the life and the cultural life of our country. It continues to develop the cultural aspect that we so cherish in all its facets. Indeed, ladies and gentlemen, we can look proudly to tomorrow where we will have a continuation of all that is going on here today because of these very young people that are participating. I wasn't really supposed to even talk on the program. I just accepted the invitation to come and look. But as a cultural person myself, I just can't come and sit down there and see all this cultural thing going on and not say how proud I am. So I decided to, yes, tell Torrance that I would take the opportunity to say a very few words. And I'm not going to detain you any longer. Let the performances begin. I thank you very much. Written by yours truly. Living on the streets cause I'm hooked on coke, it ain't a joke. I've got holes in my body, I'm like the holy hobo. I'm wearing clothes, 20 years old, walking the streets, nowhere to sleep, they call me the dead man in limbo. With my kind of lifestyle, I believe that hell is a place you can call home. No food to eat, no place to go. Could somebody please take me out of this world? I can't take it anymore. I feel like dying. It's the only way of surviving. Yeah, that's right. Death is the only thing better than the cell phone. All hope is lost. The sunlight ceases to shine upon my face again. There is only a dark cloud. Maybe if I didn't let my guards down, my life would not be so tragic and I would not be disregarded because of the fact that I am a drug addict. I was once respected, but I became neglected, lost and forsaken because of the fact that I got tested. Positive. I got my heart ripped out, kicked out of the place I was born and grew up by the guys I call my homies. Is this what life has in store for me? Rub me? of my dignity, pride, and serenity. I had everything in store for me. The perfect life story. A boy born and raised in a ghetto by an abusive father succeeding in society. Was it too much to ask? I guess people like us are just pawns in this game. We don't have any say. We just dried our plants waiting to wither away. Why do you look at me so differently? So insignificantly? Is it because of the fact that I am the one called the outcast of society? I was once educated, but I became distracted. Lost and forgotten because of the influence of an abusive, drug-addicted father. I never knew my mother. It was always me and me alone, never my father. I worked hard to provide for myself, to see that I had bread. An educated fool that what he used to call me didn't believe I had what it takes to fit into the society. Maybe he was right. Maybe, just maybe, if he was there as a father, I would have succeeded. Treated like a dog lost in this world, could somebody please show me the road? But along my history, someone was looking out for me. Took me off the streets and set me free. Washed away my past into the Black Sea, giving me a second chance to see the miracle of life vagaries. Now I'm taught I was destined to be proud to be a survivor if it wasn't for your intervention. Like a shepherd, he came and took the lamb away from the midst of all chaos and destruction. Now my life chapter hasn't ended, but now begun. For this is a promise to all my brothers who have fallen on the wayside. I will be that shoulder you once gave me to cry on. I'm going to pick you up and carry you to the top where you belong. For this is the beginning of the end. The end. 
But I begin. Thank you. We're speaking. We go to instrumental solo, San Fernando West Secondary School. Let us welcome Steve Porter, the, the slave. Napperman Girls High School, our best East Indian dance, let us welcome Miss Dristi Pico.
Beggars, uh, we now go to Calypso, Eldorado West Secondary School. Let us welcome Kevin Rodney. Them warriors are giving up. Mr. Welch was for a venom. Their mothers are venom too. So get ready for hours of battle. Right here on Power 102. Gladiators. Well, you do the same Take example from these fearless people They will fall when I draw your pain They might dumb a record and vicious Attacking with brutal force But the end product is sweet victory Mr. Porter, Spain and Warlord Jaja 
geography, more and entertainment. His students say, he is data proof, he is smart, and that's what Byron meant. And Byron meant. <laughs> about secondary. <laughs> Attila, I'm trying this here. Yeah. Okay, only last time I shoot his show tonight. Pan is beautiful. It's the night, is that? Mm-hmm. Anyone from Sixth Form Government is here today? Creative Writing School, St. Benedict's College. <laughs> 